let's install TrueNAS Scale and we can see how easy this is or difficult. I don't, I've never installed something like this. I've installed a lot of Linux distros, but this seems a bit different. So let's see. All right. Start TrueNAS Scale installation. And then there's also start TrueNAS scale installation 115200 bowed, whatever that means. Let's just go with installation. Bad shim signature. You need to load the kernel first. I don't know what that means. I've never had that error on Linux. Let's go with the bowed version. Same error. Okay, so I'm going to have to look this up and see what the issue is. Okay, so it looks like the issue might be coming from secure boot being enabled. I thought I had already disabled that on this laptop because usually you need that disabled for most versions of Linux, but I guess I hadn't. So I'm gonna disable that in the BIOS and try again. Okay, secure boot was indeed on, so we'll try again with it off. All right, it seems that was the issue. I'm getting a bunch of failures right now, but it seems to be going, so hopefully it's all right. Install upgrade shell, reboot system, shutdown system. Install, select the drive. This installation screen really reminds me of installing Slackware like back in the 90s. I don't really know what this means. It says web UI authentication method. Administrative user, admin, root user, not recommended. Configure using web UI. I guess I'm gonna go with the default administrative user. Put in a password. TrueNAS installation succeeded and it took almost no time at all, which almost seems problematic, but I guess we'll try it out. Okay, so I guess there is some more setup. So it says, the web interface could not be accessed. Please check network connection. So yeah, I'm only able to connect to Wi-Fi right now. Hopefully that's a possibility. It says no interface is found, which seems odd. I don't see why that would be the case. Guess I'm gonna need to do some more research. <laughs> Guess this just means I should plan better next time. Okay, so unfortunately, the issue I'm hitting is that TrueNAS scale actually doesn't support Wi-Fi, which kind of makes sense, I guess. There's a lot of Wi-Fi cards and they would have to support a ton of drivers that would make the software heavier. Seems to me like they should just have it anyway, but whatever. So, Basically, what I need to do is buy a USB-C to Ethernet converter. Like, obviously, I was going to hook the server up to Ethernet anyway, eventually. This was just to test it, so it's not that big of a deal. The problem is I don't have a working USB-C to Ethernet control or like adapter. Uh, the one that I do have crops out all the time. So that's not going to work, so I'm going to have to buy one on Amazon or whatever and have it shipped here. So it's gonna take a few days. So I guess you'll be seeing me again in a couple of days once I get that, and then we can go back and see if this works then. All right, so I just received the uh, ethernet cable from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. I, I hope it's in this box. I hope it's not the wrong thing because I haven't even opened it yet. But I have a USB-C to ethernet and I got the two and a half megabits. It should be, it doesn't say anything about USB-C or ethernet on this package. Yep, two and a half gigabits uh, ethernet to USB-C. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in, turn on the computer and see if we have an internet connection. I also, brought out my ethernet cable, so I'm all prepared to go. Let's see here. 
One of the issues with this being my server is that right now while I'm connected to the HDMI and later once I plug in uh, my storage, all my ports are taken. So that kind of sucks. But uh, let's boot into TrueNAS here. All right, so we're in here. I've got, oh, it's got an IP address. That didn't happen before. So I think it's just already connected. Let's go to configure anyway and just make sure it's listed. Yep, all good. Now we have, oh, sweet. Everything just worked. I was worried that like this one wouldn't work with this kernel out of the box and all that. So this is super dope. So let's just quit this with Q. So basically I think what happens now is I just open a web browser, try to go to this IP, which is on my local network and call it good, I guess it's all set up. So let me just hop onto the other computer, see if I can pull up the IP again. I think if it was a network devices, yeah, this should be my IP. It doesn't say anything about a port. So I guess I'll just type in the IP and hope it's on port 80 and see where we're at. So let me do that. All right, hopefully you can more or less see what's going on here. I'm just gonna go to this IP. Oh shit. All right, that was super unexpected. <laughs> All right, so we've got TrueNAS scale and we've got a username and password field. And I remember setting up a password, but I don't remember setting up a username. Let's just set up what I would normally do, but I think it might be like admin or something. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, it was admin, so that's dope. Um, didn't even have to follow any installation instructions, pretty easy. All right, so now we have 31 gigs of memory available. There's a 32 gig memory machine, six cores, 12 threads, highest usage, hottest, Dang, this is super dope. I'm actually super bummed about this. <laughs>